Alright, this is how it looks the contents of the downloaded zip file. So we are going to proceed to start the login now. This is a new upload. And we choose our file. We need to select the zip file. This is installed now. We might have to provide our FTP credentials. Alright, now it's installed. We activate the plugin. And then we will see a new entry under the plugin menu. Alright, you need to sign up for an API key to use the plugin. Follow the installation guide to get the an API key. After that, have to replace it here. Okay, favorite changes. Okay, we are going to the widget area now. And here's the new widget. Let's take a look to the website first. Here on the right side, there is the widget area. So we are going to place the translator over there. So we just drag and drop the widget. And then uh, we refresh the page, and that's it. Let's make a translation. Alright. We can scroll down the list using the mouse wheel or by dragging the scroll bar. Let's translate in Japanese now so we can easily see how the text changes. Alright. Now let's say we don't want to translate everything, we want to exclude some title or name. So let's refer to English and inspect the DOM so we can select the node we want to exclude. Let's copy this part. Let's close this now. So we go back to the plugin submit page and click here also. If you don't know how to do this, don't worry. Let's send an email and ask for support. Here we say ID. Alright, so I'm refresh again. And let's select seven again. Okay, so the title didn't get translated. So let's say we want to include a piece of the text which is not in the title, which is part of some other text. Like in a page. So we need to edit, make a little adjustment. Let's copy this first, and then we go to edit our page. Here we see it. Okay, this is the HTML view. So let's switch uh, it to this one. But this is how it looks on the front end. Let's go to the HTML tab and let's create an expand tab. And we take the class attribute and the don't template. But we close the expand tab, click the update, and that's it. We need to refresh the page again. Let's translate this Japanese. Okay, let's go to another page now. Let's say we would like to remove the translation from this page, so we will go back to the plugin and in space and scroll down, let's close this for now and select the page we would like to see the translator from save our changes, refresh the page and it's gone but the translator is still available on other pages in post alright now we are going to make a couple of communications. Let's change the position. Refresh again. Okay. Now let's go to the plugin admin page. Okay, let's add a few languages. We can remove the English language. So it doesn't appear on the list. So uh, if you think about it, it doesn't make much sense to have the English language since the website language is English already. So let's continue adding a few more languages. So Greek, Korean, and you can change the order by dragging the languages. And we are going to make a few more changes on the interface. You can add a few more languages on the list and make the scroll bar a little bit smaller. 
Okay, I'm testing the opacity. Okay, we have our changes. 